Hello folks, in this particular video, we will be going to, as I promised, uh, we will be going to have another video how we can build this particular application. Uh, uh, jump, we will be jump, jumping straight forward to this video. My name is Hakar Sam, folks. In this particular video, welcome to my channel. In this particular video, we will be going to discuss about how we can build thermal printer kind of a setup and that can be controlled over the flutter application no straight forward if you if you are uh, commenting down like we can do it using flutter flow all the stuffs okay so a lot of customization functionality part you will not able to understand as a programmer or as a developer you have to th your thought process how you can build from the scratch okay that only you have to build cultivate yourself and another another thing which i can say is like then make your skill level to be uttermost that uh, you can complete it not able to get it in the pace so you can take it a uh, nap folks like uh, 15 minutes you can do the first day day one or day two like you can do an accordingly okay this video will be very long too long so i uh, tell you suggest you to watch in, in a week or two weeks okay so make sure you understand what i have to do okay so now step number one what you have to do you have to go to your any operating system old enough subundu mac OS or anything operating system you have so just right click on this and create a new folder here and give any name for this particular project i'm just giving the thermal printer as a project name how you can do it so this is a particular link all right so you understood this particular problem like folders got created what should i do next let me just click on this folder all right and just click on this particular location which is like the cmd why you have to type we have to open this particular folder in vs code okay so anything you can do it okay if you think that this will not uh, like you can just do any a simple thing so just open the vs code all right understood i hope you understood okay so whatever uh, applications you have created just do this folder and what you have to do is just drag it and drop drop it you have to go is you have to switch over to your keyboard and you have to write control shift right you just type the control shift b and uh, control shift b and uh, create a application and uh, switch over the desktop which you have created just select that Hold up and uh, and uh, we just write it the application name thermal printer so something like this okay so uh, this is a particular thing you can do it okay so let's we will wait for create this particular application so then we will just wait it. So now it has been created the project, it is resolved the dependence, it is got the dependence. Alright, so this is the thing. So step by step process it is telling. In order to application run your application, you have to just do this command cd dot return run. Okay. So we don't require to do that. Alright. So what we wanted to do is so let's uh, like you can uh, add the dependence in two ways first, okay or else you can go from here okay you can just add it over here okay so after the cupertino icons you can add it one by one so what i suggest you is you can just switch over this you will get the dot add dependence okay 
so step by step how i am doing this do that like that process so that will help you see. okay so flutter underscore blue underscore plus all right so this is the one particular dependency i'm just clicking on it okay hit enter for this particular dependency this dependency will get added all right so this got added here okay so latest dependency will get added here to worry okay so uh, make sure that you uh, do uh, relevant changes here okay all right so what i'm thinking is i will make a separate video for uh, like recording each and everything for now what i will do is how you can add the dependency i will show you in the next video what we'll be going to do uh, like in the next video we'll be try to understand how we can make this particular uh, like my main motto will be how you can create a function how you can add the features how you can scan can uh, like do how you can request the permission basically okay so that we will be going to do it so in the next video in the in this video we'll just start the dependency so i will show you one by one step by step so next dependency you have to add is uh that is a flutter es esc pos underscore utils as i already told you okay if you wanted uh like a detailed description on this particular a part i have already uploaded in youtube in my channel books you can just uh, watch that particular video okay so uh, like what's a particular why we are using what for what purpose we, we have already uh, done this so we just watch this us utils okay so next is like uh, yes uh, flutter group now we have to add a flutter group package okay data blue you can add it and uh, you have to add a default host library as well so for the for the post messages basically You can add cat set converter. You can add cat set converter. Cat set converter. Okay, all right. So we will be going to add this cat set converter and add a library. Basic. Okay, so we'll be gonna 
add that library to the basic Library that is ESC QS Google. We just added ESC QS Google. Alright, so we will be going to add this library here. Feel that it is not getting added, folks. What you can do is go to the pub.dev and just copy paste it. Okay, so uh, as earlier I have given you the library part, you can just search the name of a library and just paste it here. So we will gonna get it here. Okay. Permission handler is very important for checking the permission structures. Okay, so what I do is permission permission handler. Okay. Handler. Okay, so this is a thing which we have done in this particular video. Okay, that's it about this video folks. Okay. So I hope you understood like what we did in this particular video basically. So this video is all about how you can can add the plugins or libraries in your in your project. So in the next video, we'll be going to discuss about like how you can how you can create an application or how you can write a code that particular thing will be going to discuss.